Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your What's Up Wednesday reading. This is a quick reading, um, but we're going to get into it. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into this Aries. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aries with a clear and concise message from you. Alright, so what we have is the Justice card. And the king of swords all right so um you you could be working in a field where there's a lot of paper pushing there's some there's a legal component to what it is you do and it's it, it you know it's a big impact there i mean it's a big part of what you do um in terms of something being legal and paperwork and signatures and things being very formal and uh contractual um, someone being held at a high standard or like monitoring standards and um, yeah, it's like monitorization or somebody's monitoring something. I don't know. Um, that's that's for somebody who works in that field. If you could have a boss coming to you and apologizing, or if it's not an outright apology, they are making some gesture that really, you know, it lends to them apologizing or saying I was wrong or I'm sorry um, if they don't say those words do know that's what they mean um, you could be vindicated in something that you're doing or something that you were in if you do have an open case judgment something against you do know that it looks like it's gonna go in your favor you have a really good lawyer or expertise or expert in about something or on your side you have the formidable opponent that is the king of swords. I mean, if you want to know what type of lawyer to get and the king of swords comes out, or what type of lawyer you have, and the king of swords shows up, you have the best. Um, definitely um, very smart. And this is a person who's dedicated to the outcome. Don't you want your, your lawyer to be dedicated to the outcome? When a lawyer is not dedicated to the outcome, then it sounds like you, they just took your money, right? Um, it looks like you're going to get some legal ramifications or, or legal vindication or legal something where somebody, you know, what is due unto you will be, you know, it will come back to you. And you're going to get repayment, repayment of a debt. Maybe there is someone who actually owes you or you're repaying debts. Um, you're going to an authority figure and you're getting leniency or clemency or I don't know it's like something is being wiped clean or the slate it's balanced whatever you've done or you, whatever you've given it's enough so it, it, it's like a wash here somebody also feels like they owe you an apology and they want you back if they have the opportunity to have you back to get you back they want you back if the door is still open. Um, they feel indebted to you, possibly because of the person, how you showed up in their life. You showed up genuine. You showed up um, as justice. You showed up as what they needed at that specific time. You showed up as true, as truthful, um, maybe even transparent. Um, you showed up as uh, a good Samaritan or someone would just... Um, a good heart to the core of you you are good not saying that you know you've never done bad but if we get down to the core of things I mean you have good intentions for yourself and other people and you showed up to this person or in this person's life just like that um, and maybe they weren't as authentic as you were uh, therefore it kind of all fell apart um, this person wants to repay that debt that they feel they owe you. They feel they owe you some karmic debt. Um, if they don't do right by you, then something will happen to them. They'll get struck by lightning. I don't know what they feel, you know, uh, specifically, but they just feel like they need to do something in order to get back in your good graces. Um, this person could invite you somewhere, invite you on a date, want to date you, want to sweep you off your feet, want to woo you get you back if the opportunity is there I keep saying if the opportunity is there because we also have this card that says um they broke your heart fuck them so that's how some of you feel you're just like well you know um it's done it's over my 
I'm healing or I've already healed, I, I don't want to go back. So uh, thank you for the apology, but take care. Um, it looks like you have the power, you have the upper hand in this situation. Um, also, do know what type of person you're dealing with. The King of Swords. Um, this is not a person who admits wrongs or is wrong very frequently. Um, he is fair. He is just. So, he will um, admit when he is wrong or has wronged you. Um, but this is also a person who has high standards for themselves and for other people. And this card is sometimes considered the the covert narcissist this is sometimes the eternal bachelor this is somebody who is okay going through their entire life alone do they have acquaintances yes but they're the eternal bachelor uh, they're okay with not having the queen by their side um so keep that in mind if you do want to give this person another try all right, Aries, this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.